Hey, how is it going guys? My name is Jesse with MuscleFlare.com and today I'm bringing you the tabletop review for this Colt Defender BB pistol. So before we really get into what this gun's all about, what it's made of, the specifications, all of that, I'm going to set this off to the side and I'm going to show you guys the packaging it came in. It just came in your uh, regular plastic casing, didn't come in any special uh, box or anything. But hey, that's completely fine with me, I really don't care all that much. <laughs> um, the advertised feet per second is 410, has a 16 round capacity, uh, shoots 177 caliber or 4.5 millimeter steel BBs, alright, and it takes a 12 gram CO2 capsule. So you can see, it's just a little diagram down there about how you load stuff in. Here in the back we got some, uh, little informational pamphlets, all that sort of stuff back here. I haven't really dug into them yet, but... Aside from that, that's really... That's really it about this gun. One thing I'll note out here is this full metal, and I'll go into later about how awesome that is about this gun. But yeah, guys, this is the packaging for the Colt Defender. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is the pistol. I'll show you guys what it looks like in my hand. Alright, so it's not super long or anything, but I will say, it's pretty comfortable. Alright, like I said, this gun is a uh, full metal gun. As you can see, it has a matte, or a uh, flat, it's uh, got a flat color to it. So, you know, it's not super reflective or anything. Alright, so this is full metal, but the grip in here is not. That's just a regular plastic, but it's still very comfortable. Uh, with it being full metal, it really feels like a nice, real gun. I mean, it has a nice weight to it. Uh, the trigger pull is, it's heavier, on the heavier side, but it feels good to, to me regardless. <clears throat> so again, it's made by Colt. It's a 177 caliber or 45 millimeter. Just some little warnings and stuff, you know, it's not a toy. You could really hurt somebody with this, uh, so don't go shooting it at your neighbor's dog or at your little sibling who's being annoying, whatever. Don't do that stuff. So you see it says Colt Defender here. Alright, now this gun is not blowback, which if you don't know what that means, it means whenever you fire it, the slide goes back, and it kind of simulates shooting a real gun. Uh, this is not that. Alright, it's just regular CO2 capsule gun. <coughs> so I'll show you guys how that works. You just press this button here, and it slides back. So I'll show you again. Just push it, and it'll slide back. And that reveals CO2. So again, just like with most other pistols, twist this all the way down. You can slide a CO2 cartridge in there. I don't have any by me, unfortunately, so I can't really show you. But if you've ever done anything with CO2 guns before, you'll know how to do this. Then when you put it in, just twist it up. It is kind of hard to get your fingers in there, but it's good enough. And that's it. Alright. <laughs> then over here on this side, uh, this is where your magazine is. And it, technically, it, it's built in. So, you know, just like a lot of other guns. Uh, I'll show you over here. With the Umarex CZ Enforcer, you know, you press this little button here. And your uh, clip comes out. That's not how this works. Let's set this back off to the side. <clears throat> uh, it's built in. So what you want to do. So you can see there's this little tab here, you take it, push it all the way down, it can be a little difficult. And once it gets down here to the bottom, you just push it over, and it'll lock into place. And then I always like to kind of prop my gun up like this, and then when you drop the BBs down in here, they just roll down to the bottom, and it's really no hassle. And once you're done, just flip it up, the spring pops back up, and it locks all the BBs firmly in place. And once you're done, you just push that in. It covers that up, except for right in there, so you can see if you have a BB in there or not. It covers it all up really nice. And like I said before, you know, this gun, it feels really, really nice. Uh, it has a really realistic feel to it. And one of the things I'm most impressed about, actually, is the safety. It, has, it feels really sturdy and uh, really, really high quality. Uh, you actually, like, you have to push down and over first. You can... If you guys, uh, any of you have this gun or if you want to buy it, and you feel this, 
and you've shot any other maybe lower quality pistols, you'll know exactly what I mean immediately. Uh, it just feels really nice, really high quality, and you know, you're not, you're not going to be scared that you might accidentally bump it, you know, safety's off, and then you accidentally shoot or something like that. You have nothing to worry about right there. If it's on safety, unless something really weird happens, uh, it's going to stay on safety. I'm going to show you over here. Now, this is not dissing the CZ Enforcer whatsoever, but you know, this one, uh, it is, you know, it's not just not as high quality. But, I mean, this is, again, this is a cheaper gun, so, I mean, you know, you get what you pay for. I don't know how well you guys might be able to hear that. I can just push on this, without really doing much in terms of pushing down on it, and it slides. Put that safety back on. But this one, no. You've got to push all the way down and over before it'll really do anything. And that's something that I just really love about this gun. The entire thing feels really high quality. I absolutely love it. It feels awesome when shooting it. You know, it's got this little attachment rail on here if you want to put a laser on it or something like that. The only thing I don't like is that it's not a blowback. And that's the only thing I really have to complain about. I mean, this gun in a blowback would be absolutely amazing. More amazing than it is now. Now, I don't want you guys to think that, you know, I'm just saying this because I got this gun sent to me. No, I'm saying this because it is the truth. This is an awesome gun. I absolutely love it. And I highly recommend that you guys go check it out on Amazon. I have a link down in the description below if you want to go check that out. And if you buy it through my link, uh, you're actually supporting my channel to help me make more future videos and to help my uh, production quality increase and stuff like that. So if you do that, I will be forever grateful. Besides from that, guys, if you have any more questions uh, about this gun, sure to just leave them down in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible on that. Uh, if you want to read a written article review for this gun, you can also find that down in the link, or down in the description below, excuse me, to my website, muzzleflare.com. But yeah, again, besides from that, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Have a nice day, and peace out.